guys, so I have just come, I've just eaten my lunch, well, had my lunch, uh, put some petrol in my car, so that's good, my little car is, I managed to get it to £20 and 3p, now that's quite good going, um, if the weather's good tomorrow, I'm going to give my car a little bit of a clean, because, it's got mucky paw print on the back and I'm not going to fix it because uh, until I actually have to because uh, I'm going to fix like one of the tyres so yeah but like I said it's it's working it's in good, good condition it's in good condition so that's fine so at the moment, I've had I had a mushroom omelette for dinner, for lunch, which was absolutely lovely. Um, which was absolutely lovely. I absolutely, I've been, I've been, been enjoying like cooking stuff and stuff like that. So, mom, am I allowed to show that map on my vlog? So, have you found? Hmm. So, basically. This, this is a map of France, and that, that is the, the name of somebody who owned this map, and me and my mum, my mum is trying to find out who it could be. Hamilton? Howie? <laughs> Hubert. <coughs> Howard? Ah, oh, of <coughs> Hmm. That just seems a bit odd, doesn't it? Caption is... Mum's tracking down <laughs> a map. <laughs> so we, so in, so in the First World War, we, Uncle John was actually called Jack, wasn't he? He's <coughs> actually called John. John, but we put everyone in the family calls him Jack. Mm -hmm. Why? Is that like the... I don't know. So, John Hallows, well, Jack Hallows, is my mum's... Is he your uncle? Great uncle. Great uncle. And he was in the First World War as a stretcher bearer. So he was... Um, he would go over the trenches. He would go over... And kind of like collect, like pick up the wounded and pick up like the men who were killed. And yeah, and it's quite astonishing. But he's he's called Uncle Jack. He's called he's, he's my mum's great uncle Jack. Great great uncle. My great great uncle Jack. But he's actually called John Hallows. So yeah, and. This map right here is of the map, of a map, we think, that, is, that, that would have been used in the First World War. Which is the First World War map. First World War map, going to my mum. And, uh, so yeah, my, my great great uncle, have you found out what, what popular names were in that? Include, but I don't think a lot of them would have been used then. No. Mm, definitely English. Mm. Yeah, because cause if you've got a name like Davenport Williams. Yeah, that's an English name. Then. Um, <coughs> yeah. So if he's got. Let's try Hewell. Hmm. Oh, 
Humphrey. Could be that, I mean, could be Humphrey. No, that's a bit odd. Well, they're not very good, these. No. <sighs> so we don't know what unit he was in, do we? All we know is them. Um, all we know is that he called H. H. Davenport Williams. That's all we know. I did find this. So how come they were like, how come they were alphabeted? Do you know? What? How come they have like the alphabet on them? Is it the quad reference? Oh, right, okay. It's quite a small map. Yeah. <sighs> Things you learn about our family. You don't think his name called Harry, do you? I don't know his first name. Yeah. I'll put first initial. Because then you'll get more of a... No. no. Hmm. <coughs> <coughs> well, the nationality is probably British. Oh, of my Uncle Jack. Oh, well, John Hallows, that joy. John, because I think, wait, where is he? Okay, so, right, this is a photo. Right, so that there, that, move my cursor, that would be my great, great uncle, Jack Hallows. From Hyde. Thing written about him, he was, you know, it's that's my uncle Jack. That's my great uncle Jack. And it's just astonishing how much he's accomplished. Like them, them two. Those are his medals. Like that's my uncle Jack's, my great great uncle Jack's medals. Now, who was a stretcher bearer in the First World War is amazing because my Uncle Jack, I never met my Uncle Jack and I never, I, I never met him but my mum knew him because obviously when she was a little girl but I never met my Uncle Jack and it's always like, it has always been like a huge, huge like part of me, the fact that my Uncle Jack actually went into the First World War as a stretcher bearer, which meant he was carry he carried the wounded, and he was with a doctor as well that was um, that he was helping in the First World War, and it's astonishing that like how many like you know what, and it makes it makes me quite proud to have the fact that my my great great uncle Jack was. Yeah, we call him Jack. His actual name is John Hallows, which don't ask why. I don't. Ask, I don't even know why we call him Uncle Jack. I to be honest with you. <laughs> I great Uncle Jack. I just great great Uncle Jack. I was like, what? But yeah, so whenever I say my great great Uncle Jack, that's who I mean. John Hallows. That's who my. That's my great great grand. That's my great great uncle. And yeah. So he was my, he was my, oh, yeah, he was my, um, my granddad's dad, brother, so that makes him my uncle, my great, great uncle, but yeah, and that is, that's just, that's just weird, but he was in the army, he was in the First World War, and he was a stretcher bearer, he was a stretcher carrier, which I think 
and he wasn't, he, he never, he didn't want to shoot people because obviously he didn't believe in it. So they put him as a stretcher bearer. Have you ever seen like Hackshaw Ridge? It's, that's Hackshaw Ridge. Hackshaw Ridge is what my great great uncle did in the First World War. He went out, he was with a doctor that would help the wounded. And yeah, and I just think, I just think it's like, I'm finding out so much information about my uncle, my great great uncle Jack. And it's astonishing at how, like, like how, like, he went through um, the First World War and he, him and his, I think him and two other men from the Manchester Regiment came back out of the stretcher bearers. Him and his two friends came back, the rest, the other two died did. in the army before his 19th birthday. Now he was 18 by the time he, well, he was 18 when he, when he enlisted to join the army. My great great uncle Jack enlisted on the 14th of November along with the rest of the Ashton Brother Mates platoon. This would hit the front line trenches for the first time. So my great great uncle Jack Hallows, ew, he was 19, he was 18 when he enlisted. And yeah, wow. Soon. In February 1916, John moved to Faircourt area. During this time, he became a stretcher bearer, meaning his job would be to, would be to recover wounded men, either by following advancing troops or searching no man's land between the British and the German trenches. 